As soon as I heard there was going to be a book about the history of Tetris, done by a person who also wrote a graphic novel about Andre the Giant, I knew I needed to pre-order it. I'm always looking for a new book related to the history of gaming, and what game is more deserving of a thoughtful write-up than Tetris? It was the first game I knew of that had players across all age ranges sitting down and hooked. Heck, even my grandma had a Game Boy because she wanted to play Tetris. Tetris, The Games People Play, by Box Brown, is more than just the history of Tetris, even though that is the framework on which the narrative rests. This book is a thoughtful look at the history of gaming in general. It asks why and how people have played games and competed in sport since the dawn of time. And to top it all off, it's presented as an easily digestible graphic novel. The art is iconic and simple. Lovingly handcrafted and thoughtfully arranged. Box Brown has hand-drawn, inked, and lettered every panel of his graphic novel. Only the coloring was done digitally. It's a simple and effective presentation that accompanies and highlights the story without distracting from the history. The story opens up in 1980s USSR, with Alexei Pajitnov and his friend Vladimir Pokilko working late at the Moscow Academy of Science and discussing puzzles and games. The story then abruptly rewinds to the dawn of man and works its way forward to the end of the 1800s, when Fusajiro Yamauchi founded Nintendo as a card company. Brown's book then spends a solid chunk of time going through the history and development of Nintendo from card company into the game development powerhouse that they became in the 1980s. We return to Alexei in 1985, pondering puzzles once again, he develops Tetris in his spare time as a modified version of the game Pentominoes. The simple game grows in popularity organically as shareware, and it isn't long before Western companies want to get their hands on the rights to distribute the game internationally. There's a lot more to the story after this point, and it's truly fascinating to read about the turmoil of trying to license the game from Russia, the issues afterwards, Nintendo and Atari fighting over who actually owned the license to sell Tetris, and how the world has changed and grown since Tetris. Tetris, the games people play, is a really thoughtful story, not just about a man who made a game, but about mankind and how we've used games since the dawn of time to share stories, develop problem-solving skills, and become greater as a global community. I thoroughly enjoyed this book, and I would highly recommend it to anyone with a love of gaming history or specifically with a desire to know more about the people involved in the history of one of the most iconic video games in the world. Thanks for watching Games Games Games. If you want to see more videos like this, or if you have any ideas about future videos, why not subscribe to this channel or shoot me a tweet at GG Games Show. And as always, thanks for watching.